guys. I want to give you a free coaching tool uh, for these challenging times that we are in because I'm feeling that anxiousness. Uh, I used to struggle quite a bit with anxiety and I can feel it starting to slip back in. I'm less patient. I'm quicker to jump off the handle. I'm snappier. I don't have the tolerance and the kindness that I that I would like to have. Um, I'm quick to take offense and to get hurt. I have way more triggers, way more buttons than, than I realized. They are all coming out in these times and I'm talking with you guys, my people, my community, you're feeling the same way. So for now, I just wanna give you some free coaching tips. Uh, I'm gonna give you a new one every day and it's gonna be on either nutrition, exercise, stress, or rest. Not because we're trying to fit in a certain size clothes, but because we just want to be healthy. Let's just do it for the sake of health. We want to live well, we want to lead well, and there is a high chance we're spending a lot more time at home with our families. And so my passion is to help parents reach the hearts of their kids. That's what I wanna do, and that's really hard when you're feeling stressed and anxious. So if that's you, I want you to take a deep breath. I have an activity for you. This one is designed to help with stress. You might find it helps with rest too, but specifically stressed. And this is one that I call sitting in it. Sitting in it. This is what we're doing. You're gonna need five minutes. If you can find five minutes, and come on, you can find five minutes. You're gonna need to find five minutes. That's all you need. And a chair, a chair where you can put your feet on the floor. So not like a couch where your feet are kind of sticking out into space, but your feet are planted on the floor. You might have to sit on the edge of your couch or the edge of your chair. If possible, it would be really nice if you could sit, if you could feel the back against, like the back of the chair against you too. That would be really helpful. But if not, for sure, your feet need to be planted, I think, for this to feel even better. You're gonna set a timer for five minutes and I want you to just spend five minutes sitting in it. Allow yourself to feel all the fears, all the worries, everything you're afraid of, all the stress, all of the unknowns, all of the overwhelm, allow it in. Do not try and stop it. Say for five minutes, I'm gonna sit in it. I'm gonna let it be here. I'm gonna hold space for these emotions that are in me. They are in here. They are leaking out. If I'm you know, short with my kids or I can't sit still, I'm jittery, I can't focus on things. There's stuff going on in here. For five minutes, you're gonna just say, yep, come on in, I allow you in. There is room for you here. I'm allowed to sit and feel terrified or horrible or sad or devastated, anxious, afraid, overwhelmed, uncertain. Whatever it is you're feeling, you are allowed to feel it. You are absolutely allowed to feel it. For five minutes, give yourself that. And everything is welcome and just try to notice what you're feeling, try to name it. So for me, I just did it. For me, uh, at first I just felt anxious. I would, anxious, worried, nervous. Then, as I sat in it a little bit more and tried to think about it like peeling an onion back, like what's underneath that layer? Okay, worried, I feel uncertain. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. There is so much uncertainty and so many conflict, conflicting opinions. I don't know what the right decision is. I, I don't even feel sure. I can't even say for me that I feel sure we should handle it this way. Should we barricade ourselves in our home? Should we go out and about like normal? Like what, where is, a, is there a middle? I, I don't know. Should we visit one people? Should I go to an appointment? Should I go into a store? I have no idea. I have no idea. And so I sat in that for a little bit. I feel uncertain. I feel overwhelmed. I feel afraid. And then I sat in it a little more and the timer kept going. Don't stop. If you think, oh, I feel afraid, I've let it in, I'm done. No, 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 five minutes. It needs to be five minutes because around three minutes you might feel like, well, this is dumb. I'm bored now <laughs> because it's hard to sit still when you're anxious, but you have to sit there. What else is coming? What else is coming? Fear, what if someone gets sick? What if someone I love gets sick? What if I get sick? What if I spread it? I feel confident that I would be fine if I got sick, but what if I was the vector? That would be so horrible. I would feel so terrible. <sighs> Likely someone I know. 
will get it. How do I feel about that? I'm terrified. And then sit in that for a little bit. Accept it. There is space for that. There is room for you to feel terrified if that's how you feel. Then, towards the end, I thought about the econ economic factor and recession and what is this going to do globally and what about our own country and then and then I got to the thing that I think you know I, I didn't want to think about what if you know what if my husband what if people lose their jobs what if our family what if my husband loses his job what if we don't have the means to pay our bills what if we can't stay in this home what if you know like what if millions of people can't live in their homes and we have this crazy economic recession crisis thing that's going to happen after you know the medical crisis which I realize is more important but I'm just being honest with you that's what was going on in my head totally selfish I know totally selfish because it's all about me and my family I know but for five minutes I allowed that okay I can be selfish for five minutes what's going on in my own head this is important you guys do not beat yourself up. Um, we're humans. And, you know, yes, we, we want to have empathy, but if you can't look your own feelings in the eye, that's not going to help you. You're just going to stuff things away. You're going to push them aside. You're going to try and distract and numb with other coping tools that are not so healthy. You're going to be short with the people you love most. And I'm determined that during this time, I really want my kids to remember that we tried our best to have empathy, to show kindness, to think of others, to pray for others, to show kindness to each other in our own home, that we were intentional about spending quality time together as a family and um, and that this won't be remembered as, you know, remember that time when we fought every day? That's not what I want. So I'm being honest with you. Uh, I'd like to ask you to be honest with yourself. Take five minutes and do this. At the end of the five minutes, take, your, take a deep breath. Give yourself that space and then pull yourself together. When the timer goes off, take a deep breath and then say to yourself, okay, I've acknowledged that all of these horrible things that I'm feeling, maybe they could happen. Likely not, but maybe they could happen. And I'm going to say to myself that no matter what happens, we will get through this. We will get through this. I will get through it. Um, our family will overcome. Our country will, we will be okay in the end. We will get through this. We've gotten through many, many hard things. We will get through this. I'm not making light of it. I'm not saying it will be easy. I'm not pushing it down. I'm not stuffing it. I'm not distracting. But I am saying that no matter what, we, um, we are human beings. We were created for good things. We have greatness inside of us we are capable of so much kindness and i choose that i choose it and it feels true now because i've acknowledged those things it doesn't feel like i'm just trying to be kind i actually feel like i can take a deep breath and choose kindness will you do that take five minutes right now do it do it as many times set a timer in your phone for multiple times a day if you need to just to have that reset if you feel yourself starting to move fast, if you're jittery, if you're starting to stomp or you're starting to get short with the people you love, take five minutes, go find somewhere and, uh, and, and I guess honor what's going on inside. Look it in the eye. The only way out is through. You've heard me say that a million times. That's your free coaching tool for today. Let me know in the comments if you did it, how it worked for you. And then for tomorrow, I would like to give you something. It's going to be on nutrition, exercise, stress, or rest. And let me know. Let me know in the comments which one you'd like next. Thanks, guys. I love you. We are going to get through this because families really do matter most. We're going to choose kindness. We're going to show kindness to ourselves, to our families, and to the world around us. And I'm just so grateful for you.